Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We're on Jujutsu Kaisen episode 18. And I was mistaken at the end of last episode. I thought the exchange event was over because the title of this was Sage. And it wasn't based around the exchange event. But we haven't seen Fushiguro fight in Umaki. There's a couple of people that we still haven't seen have their battle. So I'm guessing that that's going to happen in this episode. But I'm also wondering if this is the episode where Mojito and stuff start to make their appearance again. Now, I could be wrong, but it felt like when they were having the conversation around the hot spring that they were going to come to the school around the time of the exchange event. So I feel like before this is over, we're going to get a little bit of chaos. And I'm definitely here for that. So let's dive in and uh, let's see what this episode's all about. <laughs> やっぱ物理法則無視の軌道は First thing I thought was my man's using PEDs. He's got some performance enhancing drugs. I don't know if that's what he actually meant though. <laughs> Oh! Okay. I was like, wait a minute. I'm so confused. First of all, why would he try to make one of his own teammates go to sleep? And how did he do that? Because it didn't seem like he had that power before, but it makes sense. My man with the cursed speech has his phone, and I'm guessing the demon dog's goal was to go get that phone. <laughs> Wait, where was it that I saw somebody that talked backwards? That was one of the, the, the curses that was with Mihito, right? So this might be their 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 attack. They might be coming now. What's funny is that sound effect of that thing getting its head cut off. It's like a it's like a used sound effect in multiple what I was saying video games and stuff like that. Like I, it's interesting when I hear anime and video games and stuff. Like you'll hear some sounds that are the same throughout different games. It's almost like there's like a like a website or something you could go to where they just have the generic free sounds, right? And someone's just like, I'm gonna take the sound and use it. That. Like, I feel like that's been used in multiple video games and stuff. Somebody has to tell me that they know what I'm talking about. Here we go. I don't think we've seen that guy that's sitting up there with Mojito before. I could be wrong. It's about to, it's about to get crazy, I think. Yeah. キミと私はどう類だ。違います。俺にも全員家とのつながりはありませんよ。大将。水。全員消し。That should let them know that something's wrong. So what they said in a previous episode was it burns blue if the one team kills it, it burns red if the other team kills it, but then it also burns red if somebody who doesn't use... I can't remember exactly what they said. Maybe cursed energy because of Maki, right? Because Maki might end up killing something, but she doesn't know how to use cursed energy. Or she doesn't have that ability. So they had to find a way for it to mark if she also got 
rid of something that was out there. So the fact that they all burned red should tell them that obviously Maki didn't just kill all of them at the same time. And it just, it's very unlikely. So that means that somebody on the outside coming in just destroyed every single curse that's out there. Unregistered. That's what it is. <laughs> Yo, Gojo is different. He's like, all right, Gramps, time to go for a walk. You ready? You have your lunch? You, 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 anything else you need? You gotta go to the bathroom real quick? <laughs> あれ、なんで今？ま、降りたところでやぶりゃいい話でしょう。なんだこの違和感。であんたが弾かれて、私が入れんのよ。It makes me extra nervous because it's like Gojo don't seem to know what's going on either. He's like, what's this odd feeling? You know, I got all my bank in him as the guy that's gonna be able to stop this. Utahime, ojiichan, saki ni itte. この飛ばり、ゴジョをサトルの侵入を拒む代わりに、その他すべてのものが出入り可能な結界だ。よほど腕が立つ受訴師がいる。So they're smart. They obviously know Gojo is the one person that's the biggest threat to them. So they made something that allows any other person to go in as long as it rejects Gojo. しかもこちらの情報をある程度把握してるね。ゴジョサトルいねえじゃん。受訴師。気配の主ではないがなかなかにできるの。歌姫、先に行け。学生の保護を優先極力戦うな。いじのスカスカの骨とシワシワのガーじゃ何も作れねえよ。スカスカかどうかは。わし。<笑><笑> I'm sorry. That was the last thing I expected was my man to just suddenly break out a guitar. And start going rock band on him. Gojo Sensei will sort that Tokyo Jure that we must. Who she will hold to the sky. So, no, my so this now. Gojo Sensei, you didn't like show. My man said, Tuna with mayo, baby. Tuna with mayo. Gojo Sensei, no, Tokoma, the cold. Oh no! You can't leave me off like that! This is the only episode I'm recording today. You can't leave me off like that. I need more. I was just getting into it. All right. Fair enough. It is what it is. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I really, really am. I'm, I'm enjoying this show. I, it's not that I didn't enjoy it in the beginning. I was just learning and trying to understand. And I like how it dove into a lot of action, like right off the bat. But now I'm invested. I feel like I'm invested because you kind of got to grow with the characters. Like they did this really, really well. The exchange event, where you kind of learned about the different people on different sides, different schools going at each other. Like you kind of got a feel for people's powers and what they were able to do and stuff like that and almost the hierarchy of it to an extent and just i don't know you just it just they did a really good job at helping you grow with everybody especially itadori gojo and stuff like that and then all of a sudden this happens and now i'm just like i'm so invested i want to see what happens next oh boy okay listen i appreciate you guys obviously obviously i think they're going to overcome this we're only in season one so that's a, that's a guarantee, I would, I would assume, but who are we going to lose in the process is really what the question comes down to, in my opinion. I don't really know. Like, will we lose the guy who does the blood manipulation? I'm not sure what his name is right now off the top of my head, but the guy that was fighting Fushiguro, I feel like we could potentially lose him, right? Because he's not like a character that we've really grown with much. Then again, I thought we were going to lose Nanami. And I was wrong, and he seems like he's going to be a staple, and I've kind of grown with him now. But at the time, I just felt like he was going to be used as a character to kind of show the example of how strong Mahito and, you know, all that shit was. But he's, he's definitely going to be here for the long run, I think. 
I don't think Fushiguro is going to go. It's possible Inumaki is going to go. The cursed speech user. He's extremely useful, by the way. I think that he's got a really, really strong power. So he might be all right. But we haven't really seen him as much as the other characters. We just kind of saw him a little bit this episode. It doesn't mean that he's going to be one to die. But he's someone who's like relatively close to home. But he's not all the way there. So it, it would mean something if he died. But it wouldn't be the, the biggest, craziest you know, outcome. And, you know, so I don't know. I always try to think about how they're they're thinking, how the writers are going to go about this. But this is unbelievable. I'm here for this because this is just the beginning. This is just the the cursed spirit that's with them. You still got Mojito somewhere. Then you got this guy who wants to make a coat rack out of Gojo. I don't know what's up with him. The old man Gramps is is, is suddenly playing rock band. Um, So I, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. And I'm I'm extremely interested. And I might end up just watching another episode right now, even though I've got a whole bunch of other stuff that I've got to record. Oh, boy. OK, well, this was fun. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. Only one way to find out what happens next. I'll catch you in the next episode, homies. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. Smoking so much, it's like all I show. I don't think they understand. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. I just be rolling, that's all I know. I don't think they understand. I just be rocking the boat. Got me a bop in a hole. I'm locked in the coast. I got me a shot in my nose. Everything I drop is cold. I be like, who want to blow on an L? We hit the hotel. A couple of bitches, a little Ciroc. Got one of my niggas. We feeling the vibe. It's comfortable, Kimbo. Woo!